So it's on, right? It's on, Excellent. sir. Thank you. It's on, Thank I promise. You. Hello. Welcome back to another episode of Honest Movie Reveal. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first adventure, I welcome you. Today, we will be talking about Three from Hell, written and directed by Rob Zombie. But, to understand Three from Hell, you must first understand what came first. And what came first was, in fact, House of a Thousand Corpses. This was written and directed by Mr. Rob Zombie. That is House of a Thousand Corpses. After that, there came The Devil's Rejects. Also written and directed by Mr. Rob Zombie. This one gained critical acclaim better than House of a Thousand Corpses. But, we're not here to talk about these two, we are here to talk about Three from Hell. Does it live up to the hype? Is it possibly Rob Zombie's best movie? Is it Rob Zombie's worst movie? Was this film needed in this trilogy? Did it need to be a trilogy? Was it fine just being two films? Find out. After these messages. Rob Zombies 3 from Hell. So if we move these out of the way. Rob Zombie's Three from Hell literally picks up minutes after The Devil's Rejects when you remember this is going to be a spoiler review. Here is your spoiler warning. So anyway, The Devil's Rejects ended with them all getting shot up like and um, that's literally where this one opens up. Somehow they survived. I do have a couple problems with the film. I, I don't hate it. I don't love it. My biggest gripe with it is that Sid Hang is maybe in it for like two minutes at most, and he like he was my favorite part along with uh, Cher Mu Zombie, if I said her name right, uh, as uh, Baby Firefly. I want to say her name. Yeah, Baby Fly Firefly. She was she was my favorite part, and Sid Hang were my two absolute favorite parts of The Devil's Rejects and House of a Thousand Corpses. Especially House of a Thousand Corpses or Sid Hang. And when it comes to this one, he's only in it for like two minutes. Because I, I know he was like feeling ill, but the way that they advertise it is that he's one of the main stars in it. And also, Danny Trejo like is in it for maybe a minute at most. And he had a pretty decent role in The Devil's Rejects. But he was only in it for two minutes at most, both of them. But anyway... Those were my only gripes with it. Let's actually, like, let's talk about the actual plot of the movie. They're all incarcerated. Sid Hing's character, Captain Spaulding, is the first one to get the death sentence, so he dies at the beginning. And, um, while they're on the chain gain, Otis, I believe his name is? Yeah, Otis. He's on the chain gang with, um, Danny Trejo, and then the cousin, I want to say they were cousins, the cousin comes out and, uh, kills them all, and that's the new character, that's, um, this guy right here, he's in a couple of Rob Zombie films, he, uh, I can't think of the actor's name, he did, uh, 31 as well, Bill, uh, Bill Mosley, uh, it might be Richard Brake, well, anyway, he's the new character, he's the one that in a way, replaces Captain Spaulding. So, anyway, like, 
He got the death sentence. One broke free because of help from the cousin. She's still in prison. They kidnapped the uh, warden, get uh, like, keep his family hostage, get her out, blah, blah, blah. He eventually gets her out. And then once he gets her out, like they murder everybody inside the house. Oh, yeah, they kill a clown real quick, too. Yep, clown's dead. <laughs> so, um... Oh, yeah, he also wet himself, too, before he died. So they killed the, all of them, and then they're off on the road again. And this is already halfway through the movie. Like, literally, a good chunk of it took place inside the house. That's what I was surprised about. I was like, oh, wow, most of the... Like, a good chunk of it is inside the house when, like, I'm not sure what I expected, but I didn't really expect that, but that's just... That's just coming from me. So, anyway, they, uh... They escape, they leave, they murder all of them, and then they're on the road again. And then, um, they stop at this little convenient, this little motel, something out of Frey and Bates Motel, but they stop there anyway, and then, um, Baby, uh, starts flirting with this guy in a Sobrano and a little Mexican mustache, and then he ends up, she ends up killing him because, come on, you know, it's because it's her. So anyway, um... She kills him, and then she's like, hey, I got an idea. Let's actually go to Mexico. So they uh, end up deciding to go to Mexico. And then some of the uh, banter in this is great between uh, just them as a family. The, one of the, the night line, this freaking line was great. You have to see it in the movie to understand it, but it was good. So anyway, they actually they get to Mexico. They're hiding out, and then um, the guy that's hosting them calls Danny Trejo's son, and the son is like, I will revenge you. So he comes there, they have this big shootout, a lot of violence, a lot of blood, a lot of gore, a lot of guts, and then it's the final act, and the way that they were shooting it, you thought the three trio were gonna die, but in fact, the tables have turned, and they actually end up killing Danny Trejo's son, they burn him alive inside of a coffin, and then he is, he's dead. So anyway... They walk off into the distance, and then uh, the credits start rolling, so that definitely open, leaves it open for a sequel, which, like, this, this wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all, but honestly, I think this ended the, the series that Rob was making beautifully with Free Bird. Lo and behold, Rob Zombie actually makes you feel bad for a bunch of serial killers, but he did it in this one. This one, you don't feel bad for them, at least for me, you, you don't. They're psychos. Oh, I, I will say, though, Sharon Muzami, she gives a great performance. She's a great psycho. I honestly think she could play Harley Quinn if uh, she ever got up there and all that. She could definitely play Harley Quinn. That's just me speaking, anyway. But I would probably give it a 7 out of 8 show. 7 out of 8. So, that's pretty much it. That was my review of Three from Hell. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe. This is going to be part of a new series called Honest Movie Reviews. I don't think that's trademarked. I don't think anybody is using it anyway. Well, anyway, it's not supposed to be like Honest Trailers. Well, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!